Hi, everyone. And today we'll be doing a very interesting experiment. We'll be checking to see whether advanced models such as GPT-4 are capable of self-improvement. This has sparked my interest because there has been so much hype about AGI recently on Twitter, on LinkedIn, and people are even saying that you know models like GPT-4 will eventually lead us to our doom because they can actually learn and be better than the human race and you know all, all the talks about AI destroying humans and so on. This has all emerged. And the thing is, one of the key things to reach AGI is that it must be capable of self-improving because human data can only get you so far. So without further ado, let's see whether GPT-4 is capable of self-improving. So you can see these are the other models created by OpenAI and GPT-4 is reasoning five. Let's see how good it is. So let's just say you are a machine capable of improving the output of a given input output pair. Okay, so let's just put it like that. Input is maybe give me the 5,000 prime number and then the output, let me just give it like maybe five. And then we just put like improved output and then we see what the model gives. So the model gives 58611. So let's just take a look at the 5,000 5, prime number. It's 5864-8611. Okay, not too bad. It has already given us the right response. So let's see, maybe 50, maybe the 5,000 number is like a bit too, too easy. Maybe the 10,000 prime number is a 104729. All right, so let's just try the 10,000 prime number. Oh, wow, it has already given. So maybe this is something that maybe we have to go to 50. Okay, this is a bit too much. All right, let's just try some unorthodox number like 9,000 prime number, 93179. So let's just... Nine one eight nine one. Okay, so this it didn't get correct. So nine three one seven nine. Right. So let's see whether it can improve the output if I give it this as the input. So let's. Okay. Let's let me just give it in a. Let me just ask it to, you know, given. Okay, so maybe what we'll do is like that. We will give it various improve out various outputs like that, and then we ask it to give the improved output like that. Okay, let's just take a look to see whether this works. And we get nine four three six seven. Okay, so that's a bit too high. All right, so let me just copy this thing here, copy this thing here, and then we'll see whether it can give me the improved output. Okay, so it seems to be like stuck at 94367. So what I can do is give me the improved outputs for the next 10 iterations. All right, so it is not capable of iterations in the sense of producing multiple outputs. Okay, so this gives the next 10 prime numbers. So that's not what we want. But what I want to show here is that if you are not able to get the right answer already, it's not able to improve itself. It actually requires some other form of systematic improvements, like for example, to run the code to get the answer and then use it to improve itself. Perhaps that is possible like for domains like math, right? Because ultimately a model such as a large language model is only as good as the input output relations given to it. Everything is grounded in its training data. And if you give it something like out of domain in order for it to actually learn, you can't actually just use this system to correct the outputs and let it learn better. You need external tools to help it to learn. And then after that, it can improve like the input output responses using an external tool to guide its output. 
if you just use the system on its own to just generate the output itself, to correct itself, to give you a better output, it may not be able to do it because it is still limited by the capabilities of the system itself. So I've done reinforcement learning research such as Alpha Zero, and you know it takes very long to train, even though it's capable of self-improvement, it sometimes goes down because it does things by trial and error. It needs to try out new possibilities. It needs to make sure that it explores enough so that it can upgrade and update itself. So all this takes time. Like a system like for Go, Alpha Zero takes about one day with four TPUs, according to DeepMind. For more standard GPUs, maybe you take a few weeks or a few days, depending on how powerful your compute is. So just for a restricted domain like Go, it already, takes, it already takes so long. So imagine what it would be for general self-improvements, self-improving system. To, to, to How long will it take in order for it to learn so well that it surpasses humans? So if you ask me whether like GPT-4 or any of the other GPT series are capable of self-improvement and eventually leading to AGI, my answer is probably no, not with the inherent system itself. But maybe if you can come up with ways to let it learn, like using code to update its response, like over here, we can use code to update the response of the 9,000 prime number. Or maybe we can update the tools itself that it links, like LLMs interface with tools. Maybe there's a way to channel back some of the improvements on these tools back into the base model itself. Then maybe the model can learn a little, but it is still limited by the abilities of the base large language model like ChatGPT, plus the capabilities of the tools. Okay, you cannot go beyond that just by doing self-improvement or self-play like in AlphaGo. It, AlphaGo works or AlphaZero works because the environment is constrained, is fixed. And if you just keep exploring the environment, you can update the values accordingly. In a real world system, things change, things are more dynamic and this is not really possible to do. This kind of self-play is not really possible to do in such an open-ended domain like that. In fact, I feel the key thing about AI doom is if you interface this kind of AI with potentially dangerous actions, like for example, firing a bullet, no weapons and so on. So if you don't do this kind of thing, there's actually very limited things the AI can do. Imagine if all the AI can do is just answer back to you in text. The amount of damage is quite limited, apart from maybe psychological damage. You know, uh, recently there's been some suicide cases. I mean, linked to GPT, we don't know how true it is. But if you limit the amount of responses able to give, you basically don't have this case of AI doom. So this is something that is worth highlighting in the current debate because people are a bit too concerned about all this. And you can see from this experiment that if the model itself does not have that inherent capability. It is not able to self-improve to the point that it just gives you like magically the right answer. Okay? And furthermore, one missing system that I feel needs to be addressed is memory, like how to store short-term memory and then reference it later, short-term or long-term memory, and then reference it later so that you can actually ground it in, in, the, in the context. Like LLMs are very well known for hallucinating. It's not able to ground in the right kind of factual responses that can that humans can actually do by referencing past memory, like some fact database or something like that. So this kind of integration is more like neural symbolic, but I also feel that memory plays a huge role because you need to retrieve relevant experiences in order to learn how to perform better in a new scenario. So I'm actually doing quite a bit of research in imbuing memory into neural networks. And like my learning fast and slow is one example of that. I believe this word memory will come up a lot more in the future because that is potentially the way that we can have adaptive systems. So yeah, regarding AGI, I don't think it's happening anytime soon, but we do have a general purpose AI tool such as GPTs, GPT series that can help us do a lot of, a lot of daily tasks already. And that is something to be excited about. We should avoid the hype up of the AI doom part, but definitely keep that in mind, not to interface this kind of AI tools with potentially dangerous actions before testing out rigorously. All right, thanks so much for watching and see you around. Bye.